So oftentimes customers will pose a question to us when they are interested in testing samples with a higher refractive index. These might be samples which are uh, optical rounds. They may have coating, they may not have a coating on them. For these purposes we have the Spectrum Optica. The Optica has some unique design capabilities which allow it to accurately perform transmission measurements of samples such as these. You might ask why. Let's take as an example a disc of zinc selenide. Zinc selenide has some modest refractive index. A uh, refractive index somewhere around 2.4 in the mid-infrared spectral region. When you place that sample within the beam path in an FTIR, because of the higher refractive index of the sample, a portion of light is actually reflected from the sample surface. So with the Spectrum 3 Optica, the light comes from the interferometer to a mirror up front and is diverted towards the sample surface here in the sample compartment of the instrument. Because of that high refractive index of the sample, a portion of that light actually travels back. In an ordinary FTIR, that is a severe problem. This is something which is often referred to as remodulation or double modulation. This light which is reflected back into the spectrometer can actually make a round trip through the interferometer and come back to the sample and through the sample. Ordinarily, they, that may not sound like a big issue, but when you're looking for accurate, refra uh, accurate transmission measurements of samples with a high refractive index, that can be critical. The light that has made that round trip through the interferometer, when it reaches the detector, has a phase relationship which is no longer known accurately. That means that the intensity from the light which has made the round trip can appear and contribute to other regions in the spectrum. Now here as an example, we have a spectrum measured with germanium. Germanium has a very high refractive index in the mid-infrared range, a refractive index around 4.0. This means that a significant portion of the light is actually reflected back to the interferometer from the surface of the sample. With an ordinary FTIR, as I mentioned before, that light will make a round trip and reach the detector that will cause obvious changes in the spectrum, particularly in regions where that sample should block the infrared light. Now with germanium, we see this at the short wavelength end of the spectrum over here. When that remodulated light is eliminated, as we would expect with germanium, the transmittance of the sample comes down to zero. With a system which does not block that remodulated light, oftentimes you will observe transmittance values tapering up. That can also contribute to other parts of the spectrum, but unfortunately, it is difficult to tell when that sort of artifact is impacting your measurements. The Spectrum 3 Optica has a series of optical components which are designed to eliminate the back reflected light, causing light which has only made a single pass through the sample and a single pass through the interferometer to actually reach the detector. What does this mean? This means higher accuracy of your transmission measurements of a high refractive index sample.